Okay, so today I'm joined with by Sumandari. Sumandari mm -hmm. is a new team member at Cartosa, and she's been working on something really special. Um, and we want to show it to you, and uh, we're going to do a walkthrough of the new functionality that she's been adding to the QGIS plugins website. So, Sumandari, say hi to everybody. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> and Simandari has got some children in the background and what have you, so don't worry, <laughs> worry about that. That's all nice. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm going to switch over to a screen share and we can just start to walk through what you've uh, been doing and we'll just discuss it as we go. So what I, what I asked Simandari to do is to add a new menu to the plugins website, plugins.qgis.org, for styles. So um, do you want to explain briefly what, what it does, um, Simandari? Uh, yeah, so uh, basically this, uh, this style application will allow the user to upload their QGIS style and then the another user can download it and use it in their QGIS. Uh, and this application, this style application have a moderation so when user upload their style uh, they, they have to wait for the review so then if the uh, if the staff or admin uh, think that the style is uh, good enough to approve then the style will be approved and published and everyone can download from the this website thank you that's a great explanation um, mm -hmm. So we've got it deployed today. I think you've deployed just a few hours ago and uh, there's nothing on it. It's completely empty. So we're going to walk through the workflow and you can tell me if I get something wrong or we can just chat as we go. Okay. So um, to get a style onto the platform, you need to start in QGIS. So I'm actually going to go over to QGIS here and um, maybe just uh, open some project of mine like this and then uh, I'm going to go uh, actually the project is not that important i'm going to go to my style manager over here and um, i have a gallery of different things here i've got some legend patches and i've got some polygon fills outline styles point styles and of course color ramps and all sorts of other things so uh, let's start by exporting a color ramp and let's see how that goes so uh, to do that you need to use this export menu over here and I'm going to say export items and then you can pick from your gallery of styles what you want to export uh, and then you say export and I'm just going to put it uh, in my downloads directory director actually already tested this so I'll just overwrite this one here um, and you're also going to need a little screenshot so um, I'm just going to use my Linux screenshot tool I use something called flameshot to go and make a nice screenshot of that uh, and I'm going to save that to disk and I'm going to call that um, I'm going to call that elevation as well I'm just going to replace the one that I had there as well so those are the two things you need uh, and then you can go over to the website now you're going to need a login right Sumandari to be able to do it yes correct uh, yeah we should probably disable this button if you don't have a login Okay, okay, that's fine. It takes you to the... Okay, so, right, so we've got the style saved to disk and we're going to try to upload it now. So I need to attach two things to that. One is the style file XML. Um, this one here and one is the thumbnail. Uh, which is that one there and then I'm going to give a little description now uh, just to be nice I'm going to say this one I'm going to go and look and see um, how I created that so I can document it nicely um, just need to go and remember um, how I created it it from I took it 
von äh Wo ist jetzt das von hier? Wieder her bin ich gemacht von der Brücke. Das ist Blue and Left. I can't remember where I got it from, so I'll just put the came from the CPT City collection. Okay, so um, So I upload that there, and I can see then my uh, style has been created, which is great. Um, I can go and edit it or delete it. Um, and because I am an admin on the site, I guess I'm straight away allowed to approve it. Is it correct? Um, where did we manage the admin list? Is it any staff user? Simandari. Pardon? Who is allowed to approve the plugin? Ah, the, the, uh, the not style. yet. Who, who is allowed not to yet. do it? Uh, who allowed to approve this style? Mm -hmm. Is the admin and the staff account. So if okay. the style has not approved yet, user, another, another user cannot uh, see it. But it, you, you have to be in the staff group, yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's go back to the website here. So, and we look at the style. So I won't see any approved yet because waiting for review, but because I'm a reviewer as well, I can go in here. Uh, I can download the style if I want to check it locally. Or I can come in here and edit it. Um, where can I approve it? Just click on it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to approve it and say, great style. Okay. Right. And so now if I go look and approve, the style is published yeah. and it's created a new style type here as well. And yeah. so we've got our first style uploaded onto the site. Now um, we can do some things on this. Yeah, we can filter by that, but we only have one, so we can't really see something. But I'm also going to go mm -hmm. and add an icon for this one quickly here. So let's go back to admin. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go down to styles. So this is not normal user activity. This is just for us to do once off for each type of style that gets uploaded. We can create a little icon for it. So I'm just going to use that same icon. There and uh, save the game. If we go back and look on the site, then we'll see that um, the styles just now has that icon next to it, which is great. Okay, so let's load a couple more um, yeah. and see how they go. Let's, let's try to make one for um, uh, some vector styles. Oh, let's take uh, let's take this uh, building um, legend patch. So I'm gonna export that. You do have to export things one at a time, so even though QGIS allows you to select multiple things to export, it's not going to work. You must choose just one, export it, and then um, let's go to my downloads folder. Vision patch. But of my OK, 
Okay, and again, I'm going to take a screenshot of the icon and save that. Um, okay, so let's go and upload that new one I've created. Um, The XML for the style, he has the thumbnail. Um, okay, so now um, I can straight away approve because I am a staff member and Um, and you can see that uh, it automatically created a new style type. And this name is not friendly, nor is that name friendly. So I'm just going to go and um, edit those quickly. Again, this is just uh, done as a once off and normal users won't have to do this. So I'm just going to go change the friendly name here to What happened? Oh, okay. And let's use that same one for this icon for that. I'm just going to go and edit this one as well and give it a nice name. And we go back and look on the site. Get the styles. Now we've got two types there. Um, cool, and so we can go on. I think we can maybe um, not record all, uh, all the different types. I'm sure as people get involved on the on this on the platform, they'll upload all the different types, and we'll go and maintain that as we go. Um, Simandari, mm -hmm. what should we just talk about? What uh, we can't do on the platform yet. Um, so um, there are a couple of things, right? Um, mm -hmm. You can't upload multiple styles in one go. You've got to do them one at a time. You can't search it for a style. So um, oh. you, the, the search still works in plugins. So that's still got to be done. Um, mm -hmm. What else is on your to-do list of things that you want to add? Yeah, only for search, I will, uh, it will be a cool feature to add uh, in this style. Mm -hmm. And um, what we might do later is um, also have some kind of rating system. The moment we'll get a counter increase every time we download it. Let's try and see the download a couple of times. Is that working? Yeah, it's working, but uh, you still have to refresh, refresh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's just fine. for the download. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm just downloading it three times so we can <laughs> see. If it's Increases the counter. Now I'll just go refresh the page. Okay, so we can see it's been downloaded three times. We can sort by the number of downloads. This will filter it, right? So this will show you any of the color ramps. And you can filter on the sorted list. That will show you just the patches. You can filter that just on the sorted list. Um, Cool. I think that covers it. It's really actually quite simple user experience. Um, I hope lots of people will start sharing their styles and Sumandari can see um, how popular her work will become. If uh, somebody has a problem using it, then they should go and report a ticket, make a ticket in the QGIS Django repo here. I'll put the link in the show notes. And just a note that um, you do need to sign in with an OSGO account onto this platform if you want to share things. So go and create your OSGO login first and then come back and you can start sharing your plugins. Um, maybe the last thing I will mention from my side is that um, Cortezo has donated Sumandari's time to build this, but we will be doing a crowdfunding um, on the back of this to actually integrate support for pushing and pulling styles, I think mainly pulling styles 
straight into the um, the style manager in QGIS. So you can imagine that we could have a little online search box or browse basically what you're seeing on the website straight in QGIS and then have a button next to each one to say like um, add to my local system. So look out for that. We'll share some details on that a bit later um, and hopefully people will support that work and we can have all the cool things that Sumandari has made available directly in QGIS. Sumandari, anything else to add from your side? Uh, no. Oh, one, one more uh, feature that maybe you don't know yet, uh, Tim. It, you said if you upload the same name, the same name of the style, mm -hmm. uh, the application will automatically give the random string. So they will still can uh, upload, but later they can rename their style. Okay, so you could have two similar name styles, but they will be treated as separate um, styles. And if you want to replace your existing one, you go and edit the, the one that you've uploaded, right? And then you can just yeah. re-upload it. Um, and we could also note that uh, you can only edit styles that you created yourself unless you're a staff user, so you can't edit each other's files. So if you like somebody else's style, you can download it, tweak it, and then upload a new copy, but it will be your own copy that you, that you upload. Thank you very much, Sumandari. Great um, little demo, and uh, hopefully lots of people will share lots of nice styles <laughs> for the next days, and you can see how people uh, use and appreciate your work. Um, Thank you.